So what is the one thing you would leave a job seeker with um, in order to get into this job market under these very challenging times? And what's the one thing you would leave a company with? The one piece of advice. What can we do better? What can yep. we do, do to make this, um, you so know, to from, get through these From these the job seeker, I'll say this word and we'll break it down a little. You got to execute. You can't just talk the game. You can't just think it. You can't get, oh, man, all pissy because Susie or Billy got a job. Mm -hmm. You actually have to wake up every morning and you actually have to work on working to get a job. Yeah. And the problem is it takes time. It's annoying. It's uncomfortable. I got a call. I got to pick up and try to get everyone's phone number. And, there, and by the way, there's tools. I can get your phone number and your email in two seconds. Yeah. Right. The problem is it's uncomfortable. Right. When is the last time someone made a cold call to say, hey, you're hiring? It's typically I'm going to send an email or you know, just send you my resume. So execute at your highest level. And I'm talking like full time. Make it um, your full time job. Job seeker is and, and, and there are or companies is, is you got to be open minded. Right. You have to be willing to get outside this box that you've been in. I'm an energy guy. I love visiting your office, right? I know you guys are people climbing rock walls, screaming, right? Right now, those days are over. Mm -hmm. And it took me a month to get over that mm -hmm. and realize, oh, I'm going to have to go hire someone I never shook their hands, had coffee with, or sat down with. And part of my whole thing is looking into their eyes and are they bullshitting me or not, yep. right? So from a company standpoint, you have to get uncomfortable. 